Wait a minute. All right, so we're on again. That last one ended abruptly because of low battery. Now I've charged up. I'm back with Professor Sidesh Vorangadi, who is a member of CMC faculty. And we're getting a tour of maternity room part two. So in this section, we can see there are different linen which are used especially for the maternal and child health care. And uh, this is actually uh, the gown or the clothes used by the uh, breastfeeding mother especially. Okay. This is distributed by the government as well. Okay, show me how, what, 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 exact, what is special about it? The special is that this dress will keep the lady warm. Yeah. As well as it is easy to uh, expose her breast when she is going to feed. Okay. It is just like a wrapping up of uh, the clothes, like how we use okay. the towel. You know, I think I've seen women wearing that print and I didn't realize what it was. And so it's like actually, a lungi. This this includes even the baby's warm clothes, but I don't know uh -huh. what we have. Like this one. This is actually the government calls it as a nan nano jola. Uh -huh. Nano jola means it is like a warm uh, bag. bag. So yeah. in that case, so it will keep both the baby and the mother warm. Okay. And this is usually made of the cloth, the one, the data cloth. Uh -huh. So it is the same material. Yeah. And we can get even outside for purchasing. Anybody can access anywhere here. Yeah. So this is that part. Then here we have uh, an ABA material for helping baby breathe screen. Yeah. And this is usually done in association with the American Academy of Pediatrics. You know, I've seen the healthy, I've seen the helping baby breathe thing logo around, and I've been seen visit them on the internet. I didn't realize they were there. So all the contents of that training is from American Academy of Pediatrics. Yes, it is translated into Nepali as well. Yeah. The content, and the people representative of uh, the academy had come here. Yeah. They gave training to our specific group of uh, NICU nurses last time. Uh -huh. That was around three years ago. Yeah. And from now onwards, we are like the nursing faculty from the pediatric uh, major and the nurses from the NICU. They, in combination with each other, they conduct the training regularly in the hospital. Okay. And now, uh, in the last training, they had involved the neighboring uh, hospital's uh, staff as well, like from NPI, CMS. So they yeah. all had a training in a global hotel last time. Okay, so cool. So it is expanding. Yeah, I knew they were around. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they were active in this district. Yeah. Cool, wicked cool. What is this stuff down here? <laughs> this is uh, another AV8. Okay, so this is about the Jivan Suraksha thing. So this is like the levels of prevention things. Uh -huh. So for M MCH care protocol, yeah. from primary, secondary, and tertiary levels, they are going yeah. to be Okay, cool. Yeah, what happens is I have an audience of people particularly interested in maternal child health who want to learn more about mm -hmm. so we have what nursing education is here. Yeah. So we have a lot of pediatric ambu bags yep. which help the students to learn how to yep. use the ambu bag. Yeah, some peeps and stethoscope, okay. All right, next cabinet. Thank you so much. And here we have the set of instruments used during the delivery, the uh, retractors, the speculum, and other things. Yep. All right, and catheters. What is this blue corrugated tubing? Blue one, I think this is for uh, some kind of breathing exercise thing. Huh, okay. And tell me about this. Okay, so this is the regular gym exercise ball which we teach, right. especially the, uh, what to say? Pilates. Yeah, so this is for especially the exercise um, protocol to be taught to yep. the patients and the, especially the mothers. And usually the students are taught and they are supposed to give a health education to the mothers in the ward during their posting. Yeah. And see that the mothers again re-demonstrate in the ward also. All right, wonderful. All right, now this is an interesting little layout here. Yeah. So we here we have uh, the mother and the baby setup. Usually, yeah. uh, usually this is for pertaining the mommy restraint to be taught for the student. Yeah. And right, and so she's wearing the breastfeeding yeah, exactly. top. This, this is, is like cholo style. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is double breasted. Exactly. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. And that's the one that every mother gets. Yes. Got it.
And um, I think this baby also has the same clothes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the set for babies. Oh, so they use. Yeah, so I've the seen the these around the so much. One. And obviously, boy child. Uh -huh. Okay, great. And then we have here the neonatal registration kit. Right. So this is going to be used in the helping baby breathing training, actually. Yep. So this mannequin is uh, again, uh, I think it is given, or I think there's somebody has sponsored or donated yep. this thing. And this is used every time in the training, both in okay. the hospital as well as in the uh, Any woman that would deliver a baby that big is going to need postpartum help because that's mm -hmm. going to be at least a, mm -hmm. I would say that's a 15 centimeter head right there. This is cool. That's an infant but not neonate. Right, and so this poster here you said before was about cord care with chlorhexidine. All right, so all right, back to this. So this is for the breast self-examination. Yeah. This thing much here. Okay, very good. So that's for feeling lumps and everything. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, cool. Talking. Yeah. So this is for the prevention of um, umbilical cord sepsis uh, ointment. Yeah. That is a chlorhexidine ointment which is available free in the government hospitals. How are they doing with neonatal tetanus? Uh, Do you have recent information no, on the neonatal tetanus situation? There are no incidents reported in CMC at least. Yeah. And, uh, even in government hospital, especially there is very high focus on MCH. Yeah. So we have less incidents. But we have more incidents reported due to preeclampsia com complications, especially. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's uh, a kind so trend. Maternal mortality rate due to preeclampsia. Yeah. And there are some of the dummies to practice for the delivery conduction here. Okay, the, so they can, the person behind the scenes yeah. can manipulate yeah. this so that the head is a certain way, yeah. etc., and then they come back. So, okay, fascinating. Uh, this one here, you can actually check it. It's fully yeah. paced in like three centimeters. So that's cool. Then we have this. Talk, think, try. All right. So this is this this is, this, a, this is a poster that accompanies HBV training. Help helping baby breathe yeah, training. Action plan. Yeah. So that's that's being distributed in most schools of nursing in Nepal. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. And then eclampsia. Then what else is here? I love the. You know what? I've seen a million of these. I've never see, previously seen one of these with cardboard uh, in USA ever. So that's kind of uh, every. You can't have maternity department without one of these. The part of that. Yeah. Yep, and they do use one here as a rule, so that's typical there. Okay, what else is there? Portion care, hand washing, teaching station. All right, cool. What would you like to, so this will be, this is kind of the follow-up to the first half. What would you like to say to nursing faculty from USA who are thinking of coming here? Yeah, like usually I, I we have a lot of time here that or maybe the western side nurses usually perceive that uh, the Asian countries or the developing areas are like somewhere where no facilities are there or somewhere where we learn on the floor. But that is not the case. These days we are also improving. We are getting a lot of help from the western part as well as the education system is also improving. As you can see, there are many equipments here which is uh, almost equivalent to the US part. Yep. Though some of the instruments may be outdated, but still the standards are higher. Yeah. The goal to be uh, the goal which is visioned by WHO. So we are striving uh, to travel in that pathway. Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I want to thank you very much. Thank you.